I mean, Booker uh, from the Communist Party of Kenya recently said in a, in a podcast that he thought, you know, the working class and the imperialist nations need to keep their ruling class busy. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been a common theme, you know, for 100 years, that the, the job of the working class in these places is to make sure that the ruling class are concentrated at home and can't do too much abroad. Um, and so on the one hand, you're trying to cause as much disruption as possible and build a working class movement uh, in Scotland so that the Scottish ruling class can't do other things. Mm. On the other hand, you know, we can see that there are many forms of disruption, sabotage, protest that can have real material effects on the production of arms. Mm. Um, and so it's important to keep doing these things insofar as you can. Um, but Scotland itself can halt arms production. Um, we can just cause a bit of a nuisance in, mm. in the supply chains. Um, but I do think that we have to establish really good, friendly links with comrades elsewhere to understand properly what our role is and to be able to understand it kind of in real time because I think sometimes we get stuck with a kind of particular strategy or a particular way of doing things in anti-imperialist movements in Scotland and we must always be in touch with people who can tell us what they think needs to be done so that we can exchange ideas about that.